and action. I'm Coyote Peterson. Is there something on my face? When exploring the rainforests of Costa Rica, if there is one thing I can guarantee, it's that you were certain to come across many different species of creepy crawlies. I don't know what species of scorpion that is, but it's got one wicked stinger. And while each and every one is intriguing, one of my personal favorites was definitely the tailless whip scorpion. I don't know, I keep camera on. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Down here at the waterfall searching for water anoles, I flip over a log and this guy comes scurrying out. Look at those antenna. Look how long they are. And these are the sensory organs that they use to explore their environment. Primarily nocturnal, so he's probably a little out of his element like this in the daylight. I'm getting him just sit still on my hand there. Out here searching for other little invertebrates that they can feed on. You see those pedipalps up front there have a bunch of big spikes on them. And I imagine that to catch his prey, he thrusts those out, grab things, and then shove them into the mandibles. What's really cool is that it can hold on the underside of things. Like if I tilt him like this, look at that. All those little hooks in his feet just keep him right in place. That is so cool. And when I had it on my face earlier, I could feel all those tiny little hooks going into my skin. Is there something on my face? Wow, that thing really does look like a little alien from another planet. But then again, here in the Costa Rican rainforest, it seems like everything is out of this world. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought this whip scorpion was creepy, make sure to check out my encounter with its bigger cousin, the Vinegar Roon. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.